You can buy a performance road bike group set on AliExpress for £300. But what's the buying experience like? And most importantly, what's the group set like? Just so happens, I've got one here. So I ordered all of this stuff a month ago from AliExpress. AliExpress is an online retail service based in China. You may have heard of them before. They're owned by the Alibaba group. Alibaba is a business to business website. AliExpress is a business to consumer website. And it functions pretty much like any normal website when you buy stuff online. Evidently, there's lots of bicycle parts available on AliExpress. Where do I start? It's all in quite suspicious looking packets. So this group set that I've ordered is a Sensor Empire Pro. Now I've read, quoted in multiple places online that Sensor actually has some ex-SRAM employees or engineers working for them. Is this true? I'm not sure. But it seems to be the general rumour. I feel like I should point out here, the postage was free, but the box turned up beaten up quite badly. Hopefully everything inside is okay. In their defence, it did come all the way from China and it's probably been stuffed on a boat. Without further ado, let's open things up and see what you get. Now this is listed as a complete group set, so I'm expecting to have nearly all of the parts that I'll need to build this onto a bike after this video. But that does mean some of the parts are made by different companies, like this chain. 12 speed, made by YBN. 126 links, comes in a nice red box. Has a quick link. Packaging not quite as nice as uh, SRAM or Shimano. Rear mech, feels nicely made. Of course, this group set, being 300 pounds, is fully mechanical including the disc brakes. Spring feels good, jockey wheels feel smooth, undamaged, carbon cage on one side. Front mech, just in bubble wrap, feels okay. Actually looks quite nice. There's a bit of an engraving of the company logo there. You can feel that it's slightly concave. Same with on the body of the mech too. This one feels quite heavy. Ah, brake calipers. I was expecting the rear mech, but we've already opened the rear mech. Going crazy. Cool, they are. They're beefy. Yeah, that is not the sleekest of calipers I've ever seen. But I guess with brake calipers, you want them to be confidence inspiring and solid. So if I'm going to be riding this, I'm actually quite happy about that. Like how these just say nut. These should both be compatible with disc rotors. I think these are the disc rotors. Try not to touch these. Uh, 160 rotors, front and rear. These are identical and quite nicely machined, actually. They look just like my Magura ones. They say Avid on them, and I think that's official. And they come with all the bolts and adapters. Now, most of the wheels that I have have a different fastening system to six bolt, which is called center lock, but you can use adapters to fit a six bolt rotor onto a center lock. Not the other way around, though. Cassette. And then different packets. Oh wow, so this is branded sensor, a really heavy cassette, and it's all one piece, except for the last two tiny sprockets. The splines look like it would fit a Shimano Freehub body. HG? HG? Is that what it is? They do give you choices of ratio when you're ordering this. I'm guessing they're made to order because everything was in stock. This is a 3211 cassette. Other sizes are available. BB. With this particular bundle, there was only the option of a threaded BB. This one I won't actually be using because my frame is press fit. If you were to order this, you get a nice standard threaded BSA BB included in the price. All of it seems to have grease on. The BB and the crank are branded Senex PR2, made of aluminium. And this side has a little preload adjustment. First thing I've noticed, other half of the crank, my lovely double chain set. Both parts seem fairly light and to my eye seem to be nicely finished. The branding looks good, nicely applied. Everything seems solid and again nothing damaged in the packet. I went with the 5034 because it's hilly around here you know. It's not because I'm unfit. I left the best till last. Shifters. Get them both out. With inner cables they have carbon levers. Right hand for the rear gears left hand for the front. That's weird. The hood material on the right hand one is different from the left hand one. This right hand one feels like quite a nice soft rubber, but the one on the left has like a grippy texture. I imagine it's not supposed to be like that and they should be matching. Maybe they ran out of hoods. I think the non-grippy one feels nicer. 
Mm. Last thing in the box is a very basic instruction manual with pictures, English on one side, Chinese on the other side. These instructions just cover setting up the gears because the brakes are made by a different company. They don't give you instructions for that, but I'm sure we can work it out. Hello. So Harry just built a bike using exclusively AliExpress parts, which, um, which we will film at some point. Are you jealous of my crank set? Yeah, your crank set is very nice. It's got very good reviews, actually. What Has it? I'll give you a little preview of my bike. The shifter, brakes, the sparkle. But you don't get to see it yet. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised about how good this stuff works. It's like one of the best shifting group sets that I've ever had, and it cost 100 quid. That's mad. Like, the, the front derailleur, once you set it up, it, it is the smoothest shifting I've ever had in the front derailleur. What brakes have you got? Ah, oh, those aren't that good. You should you should got the, the June F1 ones. The June ones are like, hydraulic calipers but cable actuators. Now the official claimed weight of this group set bundle from the web page says about 2420 grams. So we should probably weigh it with an actual scales. These scales should be fairly accurate. They're Daisy's ones that she uses for coffee. Rear mech 197 grams. Front mech 95 grams. Chain including the quick link 259 grams. The shifters as a pair, 440 BB, 77, really heavy brake calipers, 441. Cassette with lock ring, 361 grams. Disc rotors, 196. Oh, and don't forget the bolts to fit them. And lastly, the crank set, 709 grams. So if my calculations are correct, that's 2,819 grams. A lot heavier than the quoted weight, but the quoted weight is for the caliper brake version. They're the same product page and there's no quoted weight for the disc brake version. So that'll be the difference. They're so heavy. To put this into perspective, roughly Shimano 105 is about 2,500 grams, Altegra is 2,200 grams, and Dura Ace will be sub 2,000 grams, depending on which one you go for, because obviously there's a few different iterations and loads of variables like, are you including the cables? But on the whole, for 300 quid, that's not too bad. But does it work? So, good and bad first impressions. Now I've had a chance to look at this group set properly. One thing that I noticed straight away, this chain has no grease or lube on it whatsoever. It's completely dry, which I guess isn't a problem. You just have to lube it. But that's a very unusual thing which you would never usually experience buying a KMC, Shimano or SRAM chain. Usually they've always got a layer of grease on which you kind of have to take off. Whereas this is like, well, there's, there's nothing. Which means it sounds a bit jangly and weird, but I'm assuming this will be fine to just put some normal lube on and go. It's all 12 speed, got my quick link there, and all of these parts should, in theory, work with SRAM. So if confidence in the product was an issue, you could use a SRAM chain, which are a bit more tried and tested, and it should all be compatible with the whole drivetrain. Shifters, as I touched on earlier, have different rubber on the hoods, and I don't think that's intentional. So that's a bit weird, a bit inconsistent, and something you wouldn't ever expect if you were buying a bigger name group set. There's something else weird about the shifters, they're really small. The actual hood here and how narrow it is, is really tiny compared to the rotor ones that I've been using and the SRAM red ones, which I've been using more recently on the gravel bike. I have to say though, they do feel solid and quite comfortable. So I'm excited to get these on a pair of handlebars in the next few days and see what they're like to ride. Another positive, which I wasn't sure was gonna be the case or not, these are the newest shifters, which have an alloy piece under here. So historically, this sensor group set had a plastic piece under here, which was notorious for snapping and becoming an issue. They have now fixed this. I ordered this group set through the official sensor store, and that should ensure that you end up with the newest version of the shifter with the nice aluminium piece under here. If you want more information about that, there's a guy on YouTube called Trace Velo. Fantastic videos, really long and really in-depth about a lot of different Chinese group set parts from AliExpress. So if you want to check out his channel, I'll put it in the description down below. The more I look at this crank set, the more I like it. It's quite a neat design. This is 170 mil version, I uh, forgot to mention earlier, because uh, I run short cranks. The build quality and the machining on this as well seems really good. There's no rough edges, all the threads look clean. The uh, Torx bolts that they're using to fix the crank onto the uh, Spider look neat. Printing's nice and clear, it doesn't scrape off or anything. So yeah, happy with that. Brake calipers though, look a bit pants. Now, the world of AliExpress and Chinese bike parts is fairly new to me. 
but I know you can get quite deep into it. There's a whole world of manufacturers and companies that most cyclists in the UK haven't heard of before. And there's definitely brands that can be trusted more than others. In this case, Sensor is well known. Nut, I'm not really sure about. But having a flick through the website, having a look at some reviews, and heading over to bike forums online, you can definitely find out which brands are making the better stuff. And there's definitely better brake calipers than this. I wanted to highlight in this video what you get when you buy the bog standard bundle from AliExpress for a sensor group set. We're gonna start with this one, get this built up in the next few days and see how it rides completely stock. So I wanna use all the parts that it came with before I start exploring other options on the website. Let's just see what happens if you spend 300 quid in terms of performance, what do you get? Does it work? And uh, well, I guess I'll find out in the next few days. Any questions about this, please put it in the comment section down below. And yes, there is still a hole in my ceiling. Mm -hmm.